Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, Adam 22 uh, Tuck fiasco, which has been pretty much all over Twitter and the internet for the last two weeks. Uh, I'm not really someone who sort of gets involved with the whole making fun of people for uh, apparently letting other men sleep with their wives. Um, no, I, I really don't mind or care what people do if they're... Uh, their their husbands or their wives or their girlfriends whatever i i i don't care but uh, when it comes to the adam 22 situation this is absolutely something where i have to take pause and i have to acknowledge it for what it is because it almost seems like a sketch comedy in many ways because it just it doesn't it doesn't equate to like the sorts of things that happen in real life, um, but it does. Uh, it's the internet, um, and he's from LA, so it's you know you got a lot, a lot of weird shit going on there. Uh, you, you got a, a lot of weird, like-minded people who have lost any sense of uh, morality, uh, dignity, uh, tradition. That it, it, it's all gone out the window with them. Um, and I think tradition is important. I'm not like a religious God-fearing person or anything like that, but I do think tradition has been what has held this country on for so long, is that, you know, we have had tradition and we have abandoned most of it. Uh, and we do some really silly, crazy things like what uh, Adam22 has done. Now, for those who don't know, he reached out to this porn star, a male porn star, uh, by the name of Jesse Love or something like that. And he's like this seven foot black guy with like a 12 inch cock. And what he did was he reached out to him and uh, paid him 10 grand to come over to his house and have sex with his wife and record it. And apparently Adam 22 was the one who recorded it. So. It's really weird, it's really funny, and it's really sad, and the, the, the weirdest part about it is the response that Adam has had, which is, he's been posting and tweeting things, like, you know, like, he, there's a bit of a preamble to this, like, a sort of a pregame, like, uh, you reached out to this guy, and, and you know, the guy agreed and said, okay, I, I guess I'll come over and plow your wife. And um, so Adam began promoting it. Um, he, he began like posting like these pictures on Twitter and like these memes and stuff saying like, oh, you know, my, my wife is about to get, uh, is about to go to Pound Town and she's not gonna be able to walk straight for a week. And he's like posting these memes of her like in a wheelchair and stuff. And like, it, it's really bizarre. It, it, it's really sad too. And. The, the problem with it, though, is it seems like his wife was the one who talked him into this, um, and he just went along with it. Uh, I, I, I don't know why, but the um, thing is, they were together for seven years, for seven years, and they finally got married. So it's, it's within a month of their marriage that... Uh, they decided to seal the deal and, and, and have this guy come over and uh, plow his wife. And Adam recorded it. This is some weird shit. Like I said, I usually don't jump into this sort of uh, uh, name calling of calling people, you know, disingenuous uh, names for the things that they do for their wives or that the things that they allow their wives to do. I really don't get into it. But this is just like... Like I said, you have to take pause and stare in awe at, like, just the sheer magnitude of it. Now, what I think really is going on is Adam has been so eviscerated by the Internet and everything it takes to sort of get views and rise yourself to the top that he's willing to do the craziest, most humiliating things foreseeable because it will generate viewership and content. He might not like it, and in all probability he doesn't, but at the same time, in all probability, he doesn't actually love his wife. 
I don't think any man who is willing to do that or views loves their wife and she probably doesn't love him either. The worst part about this is they have a kid, uh, the newborn baby, and uh, you know apparently they're both doing pornography. Adam has this side hustle, you know, aside from No Jumper, which is this show where he and his wife bring like a lady on or a couple ladies on, they talk to them, and then they have sex with them. I mean, this is weird LA shit, and it's been predominantly done to generate views. I, I don't see how Adam can't make enough money just through No Jumper alone. I mean, I've watched No Jumper before. I'm not, like, into hip-hop or anything, but he's had some guests on there that I found interesting, and I, I can tell you that it's a big platform. Um, he's obviously knows what he's doing. He obviously has his connections with people. Uh, he knows how to network. I think, you know, he's just, he's, he's just been around people of Los Angeles too much, and he's so far in the game of, you know, generating views and content and thing like that. And I mean, it's the internet, for fuck's sake. Uh, you will do anything for, for clicks. You will do anything for views once you're that, that desensitized by it. And, um... It's, uh, like I said, it, it seems more or less that he, he made this choice of his own volition, but still, he seems to be regretting it. Uh, he's made several, uh, post podcasts about it where he, you know, spoke with his wife, uh, he had a, a, an interview with the guy who real wrote at her and um the way everything has played out ever since is very very much seeming like it's this huge hope from adam at this point that he was pressured into it um and in all probability it's going to happen again because now users are going to be expecting this sort of content out of Adam and his wife, uh, the video, the, the, the video just like dropped like, um, I think like maybe a couple days ago, uh, but there was pretty much a big promotion for it from Adam and his wife, uh, all of the interviews that have been done discussing it, it's, it's been going, making rounds for about the last two weeks, uh, I would heavily advise Googling and YouTubing some of these videos to see exactly just how far along this is all came and where it's heading. Um, because I can't give you all the details here, uh, neither can I show you the video myself. Um, you can YouTube it if you want. I did not watch the video. Uh, I'm sure some of you out there did. It, uh, it, I, I seen the first uh, 10 seconds of it, and it's hilarious. Uh, I, I, I think uh, this is probably going to skyrocket. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I think this is going to skyrocket Adam's career. But um, his sanity and his, his manhood... And his sense of self-respect uh, and everything in between is all going to go out the window. He might make that money, he might get those views, but uh, everything else and everything that has held him and his wife together is more than likely going to crumble. As sad as that sounds, but uh, you know, that's uh, the game you decide to play when uh, you hop into those shoes. But uh, yeah, that's that's about it for now. Um, in the past and in it, uh, it's a pretty cool quest here. And uh, I'm going to kill this guy. Hopefully earn some pretty cool rewards. So I will see you again. Uh,
fairly soon. I am Master Catagol. This is the Astrocaster.